News Alert now. We're learning more about this um, special sweetheart deal in the Senate health care bill, a deal that gives four states a special pass on paying the expensive new Medicaid bills that would come with the new Senate health care plan. According to the arrangement, the Finance Committee, Nevada, Michigan, Oregon, and Rhode Island would get a five-year reprieve from new Medicaid payments. Now, what does that mean? That means the rest of the 46 pick up the tab and you pay for them. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. Just one little nugget we uncovered this morning. Yeah, I'm Bill Hammer. Nice like to see you, Mark. Yeah. Money's just moving around from one place to another. <laughs> Easy money. I'm Martha McCallum. Good morning, everybody. In today for Megyn Kelly. Uh, we understand that Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid of Nevada and senators from three other states worked out a pretty good deal for their states in this whole health care thing with Finance Committee Chairman Max Baucus. When reporters called Harry Reid's office and asked him, how is it that Nevada is not going to pay extra for Medicaid under this deal? Here's what his spokesman said, quote, Senator Reid makes no apologies for fighting for federal money for his constituents. Well, Bill Salmon's been looking at our managing editor in Washington, <laughs> Vice President News. Good morning, Bill. I, this is the kind of deal that makes Americans sour and their politicians. Uh, and you know it well. How, how do you do a deal like this? Well, you know, power has its privileges. And Harry Reid is the Senate Majority Leader. And he's also facing... Uh, uh, difficulty back home where he's looking at a very tough re-election campaign next year. In fact, there's, a, there's an article in today's Politico newspaper that talks about what if Harry Reid loses, and they're already off to, in, to the races on speculating as to whether Chuck Schumer or Dick Durbin would succeed him. So he's in trouble, and this is his way of bringing home the bacon to Nevadans at the expense of the rest of us. I happen to live in Maryland. I'm told that the Maryland's uh, cost now has to be rejiggered to the tune of 4% or more uh, 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 in terms of an increase that we have to pay. Other states like Virginia, Florida, California will pick up the burden now that Nevada and these three other states won't have to pay any of this uh, expansion of Medicaid. You know, they call this an unfunded mandate in a lot of states because, for example, Mitch Daniels in Indiana said that this will overwhelm his state's budget. But for Nevada, uh, it will be picked up 100 percent by us. So what, they, what could happen in Nevada then is they could delay a tax hike until the election's over next year, and Harry Reid avoids a lot of potential uh, negative criticism coming back his way. It's not a done deal, though, right? It's still in committee. Well, he, he, Harry Reid convinced Mac ba Max Baucus, the chairman of the committee, to to put this uh, uh, arrangement in the deal. Initially, it didn't have it. Nevada was going to have to pay. Uh, you know, like between 13 and 17 percent of these increased Medicaid costs, and Harry Reid complained to Baucus, so Baucus took it out in the sweetheart deal. It could still, as you as you say, could get stripped out as this legislation now moves through conference committee, and it has to get reconciled with other bills. So it could come oh, out, a, and I think mm. us talking about it may have something to do uh, with that. Funny little way Washington works, huh, Martha? Yeah, you know, Bill, I, I am so struck this morning by what a window this is into how things work, because everybody listens to this health care thing. They go, how, how is this all going to get paid for, right? The president says it will be deficit neutral, okay? They're going to look for all of this savings. So it turns out that you have to increase the cost of Medicaid, and the federal government says, well, we're going to push that onto the states. So see, the federal government's not going to have any increase to its deficit because the states are going to pay that, and they're going to pay it by increasing, you know, just a little bit, a little bit, right? So when they have that extra increase uh, to what the states have to pay, these states say, oh, you know what? Things are so tough in our state, so not tough in Nevada. We just can't possibly be burdened with this. Back, the money goes in the other direction, right? And then it comes out as a savings for the state of Nevada? It, absolutely. And, and, you know, I mean, in some states, I guess you could make a better justification. For example, Michigan, where unemployment is the highest in the nation. But I tell you, Martha, this is really a up-close look at how the sausage is made here in Washington. And I think this is why the Democrats wanted this health care reform legislation passed in August before the recess started frankly, before anybody could, could sort of really give it a close look. And the more people look at this, this is another reason for people not to like the health care reform bill. This sweetheart deal that benefits Harry Reid uh, is another example of why people say, you know, this thing kind of stinks. Yeah. <laughs> we can smell